welcome once again to easy elite english and this is also a mobile view special the year is 2023 the year is 2023 and this is important difference between ago and before now read these sentences i joined this office in 1999 I joined this office in 1999 and now it is 2023 I had completed my graduation a year before I rented this flat a year ago The current year is 2023 I joined the office in 1993 I completed my graduation a year before and I rented a flat a year ago So we have one sentence saying a year ago, and one sentence saying year before. Will both refer to 1998 compared to 1999, one year before and one year ago? Will they refer to 1998? Means 1998 you did the graduation, and 1998 you also rented the flat. Let us see. A year before refers to one year before 1999, that is 1998, and a year ago refers to one year before the present, one year before the present, one year before 2023, that is the year 2022. One year before refers to one year before 1999. That is ninety-eight, and one year ago means one year before now, one year before the present, one year before the present two thousand twenty-three. That's two thousand twenty-two. Mister X was born in the year nineteen sixty-four. Mister X was born in the year nineteen sixty-four, but he died two years before. Wrong. Why? Because two years before would mean. He died in 1962, which is not possible. He was born in 1964, and he died in 1962. Absurd. He died two years ago. This is right. He died two years ago. Means two years from now. If now it is 2023, he died in 2021, and was born in 1964. Now this makes sense. Now which is correct? X died about ten years ago. He had run away from his country two years ago. Is it possible? Ten years ago he died, and two years ago, that means eight years after he died. No, he had run away two years before. Before the reference of his death, not from today, but from the point of. A uh, time of his death, two years before he had run away from the country. Ego is always an adverb. Ego is always an adverb. Whereas, ego is always an adverb, but before is not always an adverb. For instance. It happened five years ago. Means five years back from the present. He came a week ago. A period of one week back from today. Always count from the present. From today. Whenever you are using ago, it is always from today. It is not from any other date. Always count from today. Ago, it is always from today. So five years back from today or from now. A week ago means seven days back from now. Before can be used as an adverb. My father died in nineteen ninety five. He had retired from his services a year before. A year before means nineteen ninety four. Not one year from now, but. 
one year back from 1995, that would be 1994. So my father died in 1995. He, he had retired from his service a year before, a year before his death. So this is adverb. You can use it as a preposition. Look at the monument before you. Look at the monument before you means in front of you. Preposition showing the position. The monument is an old structure. Look at the monument before you. The monument stands in front of you. Preposition. As a conjunction, he had left before I arrived. He had left one sentence. I arrived another sentence. It is joined by before. Joining two clauses. Conjunction. Joining two clauses. He had left and I arrived. Before is a conjunction. So before can be used as an adverb, as a preposition, or as a conjunction. But ego is always an adverb. Always an adverb. You can't use it as a preposition or a conjunction. And ego means always from the present. Before means from any point of time. For instance, here it means one year before means one year back from 1995. So let us have a small uh, test, a small worksheet, practice worksheet. I went to Paris five years dash. Do it and then you can check from our answers. You can even pause the video. Uh, do the exercise and then check the answers. I went to Paris five years dash. It was my first visit. I had never been out of India dash. You have to fill in the blanks with ago or before. Only these two words. Either ago or before. Our son was born in 2000. We had married a year dash. Ago or before. Never dash did I hear such absurdity. Is it ago or before? The policeman reached a bit late. The robber had escaped a few minutes dash. Ago or before. I reached the station an hour dash. But I found the train had left 10 minutes dash. So in each of the, case, e each of the cases, you have to fill up with either ago or before. In each of the sentences, fill in the blanks with ago or before. And after you have done it, you can resume the video and check the answers. Here are the correct answers. I went to Paris five years ago. Five years ago means five years from today. Five years back from today. Five years back from today. It was my first visit. I had never been out of India before. Before that five years back period when I went to Paris. Before that, I had never been out of India. So this is before. I went to Paris five years ago. I had never been out of India before. Our son was born in 2000. We had married a year before. One year before 2000. Not one year before now. Not one year before now. One year before 2000. My son is already 23 years age and he is a computer engineer. Never before had I heard such absurd tales. Never before. Means never before this point of time. The policeman reached it a bit late. The robber had escaped a few minutes before their arrival. The policeman arrived. But the robber had escaped a few minutes before the policeman arrived. A few minutes before the arrival of the policeman. Not a few minutes before the present time. I reached the station an hour ago, one year back from now. But I found that the train had left 10 minutes before, 10 minutes before I arrived. I arrived one hour ago and the train left one, uh, 10 minutes before I arrived. That means one hour, 10 minutes ago. So before means in reference to any time in the context. Any point of time in the context. Before means 
so many years or so many minutes or so many seconds or so many hours or so many days before that point of time ego means always in reference to the present always from now before means count back from any point of time ego means count back from now only from now you have to count back if you say ego but if you say before you can count backward from any point of time ego means always from now counting back from now that was easy late english whatsapp us or email us for any specific video you need for all our services are entirely free of charge and this was a mobile view special so tell us if you are viewing on your mobile whether the text and the writings the words did you see them absolutely clear and crisp so till we meet again thank you and goodbye